This is Kevin, Gamertag Magil, and I'm bringing you a game of Ground War Kill Confirmed on Arcaden. I'm running with the PM9 with two attachments, which are rapid fire and extended mags, which is the key to making this gun good. I don't, I don't really know if good is the right way to describe it, but uh, at least a gun that can compete with the other ones. Here I'm aiming down sights with the gun, and it's really bad, as you can see as I just hip fire that guy easier than when I'm aiming at him. And that's one of the keys to using this gun is not aiming down sight and relying on hip fire. It's got a lot of really bad visual recoil and it's just not worth bothering trying to. And it works really well once you've got rapid fire and extended mags uh, just hip firing it. It's got the fastest rate of fire of the submachine gun so once you throw rapid fire on there it really starts kicking out the bullets. And it can do some it can do some work with these two attachments. For perks, I'm running uh, Extreme Conditioning, or Marathon. I forget what they decided to call it in this game. Hardline Pro and Steady Aim Pro. And as you'd guess from a gun you rely on hipfire with, uh, the Steady Aim is the key component in the class. And I just like Hardline Pro because I tend to leave, especially with a gun like this, you tend to leave out quite a few assists hanging around. So sometimes it's nice to start with that one kill already on your way to the uh, kill streaks. And in this one, I think I'm running, oh, I'm running Predator Missile, Airstrike, Chopper Gunner, or er, Attack Chopper, not Chopper Gunner, because I think I was trying to get Wargasm title. And I don't. And in this one, I do nothing with the airstrikes I get. But in this game, I do die quite a few times. Um, but I get a bunch of kills as well. I think I end up 39 and 15. And that's probably the best I'll be able to do with it. I mean, I might be able to pull off better, but it's one of the best games I've had with the PM9. And I thought I'd put it up here because I really wanted to start putting up games where I do well with bad guns. For my secondary, I have the Scorpion, and later on in the game, I start switching to the Scorpion whenever I want to take a shot at somebody who's like a decent distance away from me, because it's just a more accurate gun than my primary. And this part of the map, especially in uh, not all oh there you go, javelin, not in a lot of like the objective modes, but in any of the kill game, the like TDM or kill confirmed or team defender, that area up by the escalator seems to get a lot of work as I get a nice triple predator. Those are always really satisfying and a, a lot of times I don't do well with my predator missiles on Arcaden because I'll see the red dots over in this area and they'll actually be underneath instead of uh, above where I think they are and I'm hoping they are to get the kill. Here I let my teammate die because I need to finish reloading. And I think in this game I do a fairly decent job of confirming kills that, except for like my uh, Kill streak kills. Those ones kind of get left on the table, which is the problem with most of the, with lethal kill streaks. And here I just get lucky, kind of. I don't know. I smartly escaped. I wasn't lucky. And you know, its key is finding good cover that actually protects you from bullets, because there's a lot of cover that doesn't do anything, and just knowing when you're safe and when you're not. There, that guy just came out of nowhere with his assassin shit always frustrating. Here I don't understand. I put it over the mall. I know there are holes in the roof of the mall. I know they're over in the mall area. But even with like stealth bombers, I can never kill anybody with any kind of airstrike going through that area. I don't know how I got that tag and didn't get shot as I ran through out, ran out the open. But uh, you know, airstrike just never works for me on this map. Um, I usually don't run it though, so I don't have a lot of experience trying it out. But, you know, here, I think those two guys just managed to get outside before I could get another triple, which would have been awesome. There I, their theater mode goes insane, and then I run away from martyrdom and right into a grenade, or a guy shooting me. Although I don't know if I would have had the ammo to get him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just the problem, problem is I talked about this gun has the fastest rate of fire, so even with extended mags, this gun just blows through ammo in no time. I mean, a couple of times I do manage to get double kills with what I've got, but really for the submachine guns, that's still putting in like the worst 
position you can get. Because a lot of them, even with the normal one, makes it fairly, or the normal magazine size makes it fairly easy to get like a triple kill without having to reload or at least three kills. You don't have to get them all at once. To the craziness that is the MP7 and P90 clip magazines that just let you really go to town with tons of bullets and you can just kill so many people. But here you can see I keep running out of ammo, which scavenger might be, I'd say it might be a good choice, but you really don't want to be running around with the PM9 too much if you can help it. And there I managed to get that final kill to get that helicopter before I die, thankfully. And for the secondaries, if I'm running them solo, I much prefer like the MP9 or the Scorpion. They're way better than the FMGs, although they're still crazy pants. A Kimboed, although hopefully those aren't those were allegedly nerfed again. I haven't noticed it, but who am I to disbelieve what they said? Here I try and kill a helicopter, except it was a fucking care package helicopter, so it left right away. But we're coming up near the end of the game, and I'm going to keep running around crazy pants trying to shoot people with this gun. And it's got a really crappy range. Well, there I just never had a chance. But it really you really have to play to its strengths. It's a lot like a shotgun in that respect. There's where I get sniped from there. That you really have to know and play it much smarter than a lot of the other guns. There's what the other submachine guns, you can just treat them like normal. So here we get to watch somebody get a collateral and then another kill for the final kill cam, which is pretty sweet. So uh, I go 39-15, and I hope you guys enjoy the game.